Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and I'm back with a brand new lecture series on auxiliary planes, which is an extremely important topic in engineering drawing or engineering graphics. Now, this topic was requested to me by a lot of my subscribers and viewers. So the wait is finally over as we'll start right now. But before we begin, I expect all of you to watch this video right till the end, because once you have a firm grasp on this method, I'm sure then you're going to be able to solve all the problems based on prediction of lines, planes and solids. So let's kick off today's session with one simple question. Why are we studying auxiliary planes? What's so special? Well, to answer that, let me give you a demonstration. So here we're going to be considering an object, a 3D object, and we'll try to look at this object from three different ways from the front, from the top and from the left hand side. OK, so that we can have the front view in this vertical plane. We can have the top view in this horizontal plane and we can have the left hand side view in this what you call or what you know as a profile plane. So what's so special about these three views? So when you try to look at this object from the front, these three rectangles or shall I say the true shape of these three rectangles are pretty much visible in this front view. OK. What about this? The true shape of this portion is also visible in the front view. All right. And that's the idea behind having an orthographic prediction that it should be able to provide the true shape and size of the object from the front top and side. Now, guys, if you watch carefully, when you try to look at this object from the top, this portion is clearly visible here. Okay, it's true shape and size is visible. Uh, this portion, this over here, that is also visible in the top view. What about this portion? This is sort of a slant portion. Okay, this rectangle over here. So the true shape of this rectangle is not visible. Rather, this is the apparent shape, apparent shape. Okay, if I say that this, let me number this, let me number this by one, two, and let's say this point is uh, referred by three, and let's say this is four. This over here represents the apparent shape of one, two, three, four. All right. And when you look at this from the side, um, this also is the apparent shape of one, two, three, four or rectangle one, two, three, four. That means orthographic prediction right now is a bit unfair towards this profile of the entire object. OK, because all the other profiles have been represented by their true shape and sizes. Now, these three rectangles have been represented by their true shape and sizes in the front view. And as far as this rectangle is concerned, its true shape and size can be seen in the top view. As far as this rectangle is concerned, its true shape and size can be seen in the side view. But there is a problem with this rectangle over here, which is slightly inclined. OK, it's true shape and size. It's not visible in the front view or the top view or the side view. So some sort of a solution has to be worked out. OK, so here is the solution. And if you want to have the true shape of this particular profile of the object, you have got to you've got to look at this object in a sort of perpendicular way with respect to this plane over here, this plane one, two, three, four sort of from here. OK, and the view that you're going to have when you look at this object from here is what you call an auxiliary view, which is going to be obtained on a plane, which is known as auxiliary plane. Let me show you how that looks. Here it is. That's what you call an auxiliary view. Let me let me go ahead and write this auxiliary view. OK. And to be very specific, guys, uh, this auxiliary view is an auxiliary top view, in fact, because the plane on which this is going to be obtained is an auxiliary inclined plane. Now, again, you guys might be confused as to what an auxiliary inclined plane is. Now, let me go ahead and tell you that auxiliary planes are basically of two types. One is auxiliary inclined plane, while the other one is what you call as auxiliary vertical plane. When you speak of an auxiliary inclined plane, it is perpendicular to the vertical plane and it is inclined at a certain angle to the horizontal plane. OK, and the sort of view that you obtain over here is what you call the auxiliary top view. When you speak of an auxiliary vertical plane, this particular plane is perpendicular to HP. OK, and it is inclined to VP. And the view that you're going to obtain in this particular plane, that is AVP, is what you call the auxiliary front that's it. So there are basically two types of auxiliary planes, AIP, AVP. AIP is where we have the 
uh, auxiliary top view and AVP is where we have the auxiliary front view. The This red color view that we are obtaining is an auxiliary top view. Auxiliary top view is obtained in an auxiliary inclined plane. Okay, so over here we will be having an auxiliary inclined plane. So that was all about projections. This is front view. Okay, let me write this. This is top view. Over here we have the um, left hand side view and this over here is the auxiliary top view obtained in what you call an auxiliary inclined plane okay now front view is obtained in a vertical plane you know that very well top view is obtained in what you call uh, the horizontal plane and a side view is obtained in a profile plane so when you speak of an auxiliary top view it is obtained in an auxiliary inclined plane so that's it so that's the entire idea behind having an auxiliary inclined plane because sometimes you're going to see that the true shape and size of any particular profile of an object will not be visible neither in the front view top view or the side view okay and that's where you're going to have to use this auxiliary plane all right now let's understand how to do this on a drawing sheet or on plate sheet of paper and for that here we go so over here we have the front view okay that's the front view when we look at this object from over here that's the front view when you look at this object from the top this is what you're gonna have that's the top view and when you look at this object from the side you're gonna be getting the side view okay it's gonna look something like this there you go and that's it that's the side view this L shape is something that you're gonna obtain but when you speak of this okay this rectangle over here, it appears as a line from the front that's not visible or its true shape is not visible how to obtain that true shape in a two-dimensional platform in a two-dimensional atmosphere that is something that i'm going to be explaining you right now okay one two three four all right one two three and that's four so when you try to look at this from the front okay that is the projector line and one dash comma two dash and this is going to be three dash comma four dash okay now in order to have the true shape of this particular rectangle over here this is the apparent shape okay we have to look at this from over here something of this sort now i'm going to be fitting an auxiliary plane and to be very specific this plane appears as a line okay there is a plane over here let me show you there is a plane over here something of this sort okay which is known as auxiliary inclined plane when you look at that object or when you look at that plane from the front only this line will be visible that's why we are drawing a line over here this is what you call an auxiliary inclined plane and the view that you're going to be obtaining in this particular plane is what you call the auxiliary top view all right so we'll be having an auxiliary top view over here for that what needs to be done is if you watch carefully these are the projector lines making an angle of 90 degree with this surface exactly that's exactly what needs to be done so you need to keep your mini drafter one scale of your mini drafter aligned along this line tighten the screw and the other scale will automatically give you this 90 degree lines right that's very easy so what we are essentially doing is we are trying to uh, prepare or construct the auxiliary top view with the help of this front view so remember this guys when you try to create an auxiliary top view you have to take this as the reference line x y as the reference line so right now we are working with x1 y1 so before that x1 y1 we have x y as the reference line okay so we are preparing the auxiliary top view over here okay so the previous top view is this one so we have to take this one two three four as the reference so keep one leg of your compass here at x or the reference line other leg at one and with that much amount as the radius and then with this guy this 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 guy as the center you need to put an arc this essentially is what you call point one okay do the same drill again keep one leg of your compass here other leg at two with that much amount as the radius okay then with this again as the center you need to put an arc here again this is going to give you point two repeat the same stuff over here you, you're going to be getting point three and point four so keep one leg of your compass here other leg at four and with that much amount as the radius and then with this as the center put an arc and that's precisely point four repeat the same stuff keep one leg over here other leg at three keep with that much amount as the radius and with this guy as the center put an arc here again that's going to be point three when you join all these points you have the true shape right so that's how 
uh, that's why auxiliary planes are so essential in obtaining the true uh, shape of any profile which somehow got missed in the front top or side views now this method is going to be extremely important because in the upcoming lectures uh, i'm going to be telling you how to find the true length of any given line with the help of this method i'll be telling you how to draw the projection of a plane when its surface is inclined and one of its edges is also inclined i'm going to be discussing the projection of solid whose axis is inclined with the help of this auxiliary plane method so this entire week it's going to be all about auxiliary planes so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification i'm going to be back again with some more videos on auxiliary planes and preferably i'll be doing a video on projection of planes okay how to uh, incline the surface how to incline the edge and something of that sort with the help of auxiliary planes so bye bye and take care